Hey you guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes, finally got that correct. Because I've been saying a couple times, Forza Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> so, uh, the reason that I'm uploading this video is because I haven't uploaded a video for this game. And I've been playing this ga game a lot. Um, especially because next week uh, Mass Effect uh, Andromeda is coming out. And I would love to play that game, but I'm far away from finishing this game. I, I, I believe I am. So this mission is called Into the Borderlands. Uh, this video is recorded with the PlayStation 4 uh, remote share button. button. You know, you press the button and you record. So this video is actually recorded using that feature. So yeah, might not let, look that good. Uh, sorry for that, but um, there you go. <laughs> I just, you know, wanted to share this video with you guys and to, you know, let you know that I'm playing this game. Yes, I haven't talked about this game at all. Um, like I said, the only video that I uploaded for this game was uh, the Forza Horizon. God damn it, I said Forza. <laughs> the Horizon Zero Dawn PlayStation Vita Remote Play video. Yeah. Other than that, I haven't uploaded any video for uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm just gonna say Horizon. <laughs> and I, I gotta say, my opinions about this game, this game is gorgeous. This game is gorgeous and what they did with the, uh, these robot dinosaurs are insane you know it's incredible the way that they did all these you know robots because you look at them and they move like animals and they're fully mechanical and they totally move like animals so and there's so many kinds so many kinds of robots dinosaurs not just dinosaurs you got Bulls, you got ostriches, so many, so many type of robot animals. I still don't know their names correctly. Like this one, I I forgot this dinosaur's name. Not, I don't think this is a dinosaur, right? I don't know. There you go. And, you know, a lot of people have been talking about this game about the praising the bow action, which is really good. The bow is really, really awesome. But I've been really loving the melee attacks. I love taking down the, the these robot animals using melee attacks. The big slash, I think it's called the uh, big spear or something like that. Big slash spear and, and the spear attacks. Oh, and the critical um, takedowns. I think it's freaking awesome. I really, really love um, using the melee attacks. And I've heard a lot of people that don't like the melee attacks. That they just been upgrading their their um, bow action because you can, um, you know, every time you gain points, you can actually upgrade your. I think it's called forger. Squandra or something like that and I've been upgrading mostly the melee attacks you know trying to get more powerful critical hits like this and um, the big slash I've been upgrading that uh, right now as I'm recording this video I'm actually way ahead way ahead I just finished uh, I forgot the name of it but I just did a very very awesome fight I can't remember the name of it it's a as you, you're going to the to the through the ruins of the ship then you find this group of oh crap of Eclipse people say I'm um, building a, a, a big ass big ass robot computer um, monster so after that I had to kill the monster and everybody else so it's pretty damn cool Now here I'm gonna be editing, cutting a little bit, 
because <laughs> one thing about this game is that there's too many looting <laughs> and, and I'm one of those that I have to freaking loot everything every time I see a freaking box or a body or a, a plant I have to freaking loot it you know and sometimes you know it's cool that you can actually do that but the only negative thing is that there you go I edit this right here the only negative thing is that a mission that should take you like five six minutes usually takes me like 15 20 minutes because I'm looting I'm looting everything that I see <laughs> and I wonder how many people out there are having the same problem are you guys do you guys loot everything or you just for you know just see all these things popping out of the ground just ignore it because I can't I can't <laughs> Now here in this section, I did die a couple of times after killing the dinosaurs outside or the robots outside because there's like, I think there's like three snipers here and I didn't know that this game actually had sniper, um, how you call these people and these people are, I forgot what their, what their name is, mercenaries or something like that, they're, sni they're snipers. And I didn't know that coming into this mission. And here you actually have to kill everything too, not just the humans. There you go. It's so freaking awesome. something up there but uh, the hell with it there's too much looting <laughs> so I'm, I'm not actually saying that that's a bad thing the looting but the thing is that I'm uh, I just have to loot everything there you go so here we got two more dinosaurs or animal robots and you know uh, this is a good strategy that I always use when I'm about to face a, a couple robots. I just uh, lay out a couple of those trip casters. I should have laid out a little bit more. But I do use those trip casters to, like, to get ready the grounds for me to fight a whole bunch of uh, dinosaurs. Or especially if it's, a, if it's an animal that I haven't faced. And I don't know how hard is it gonna be. I just lay out a couple of trip casters. I also lay out uh, the mines, the trap mines. Those are very, very useful. And that way, you know, I could take them down faster. And it's been working for me, you know, it's been working for me. There you go, that. Kill this sucker. There you go, that guy hit the trip caster. See there? See all the health he took out? Almost halfway. There's another one here, and he got hit again. That took him down. Look at that. Just like that. Just like that. And uh, we got some scavenging. So, yeah, man, I, I want to play Mass Effect. But Mass Effect, I'm pretty sure Mass Effect is going to be a huge game. This game is huge as well. And I'm also playing Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch. And it's also a huge game. So right now, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with the games that I'm playing right now. Because a lot of times, I, 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 don't, I don't like to play too many open world games at the same time. Because I will just not finish them. It will take me forever. You know, and and when you get when you get into one of the worlds of one of the games that you really like, you just you just do everything. Like Watch Dogs too. I love that game. I did that. I did a lot of the stuff in that game. I spent a lot of a lot a lot of over a hundred hours playing that game. Be awesome game. 
And this game is beautiful as well. This game looks gorgeous. I'm playing it on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Looks amazing. I've also heard that it looks perfectly good on the normal PlayStation 4. Uh, you know. And this right here is one of the first times that you start confronting one of these heavy heavy weapon carriers. don't do nothing to this guy huh? that's a little bit unrealistic huh <laughs> look at that how many arrows to the head are you gonna take bro <laughs> and with fire this is for you do that come on it's too much Ah, he actually takes friend, care of him. Go. Look at that. <laughs> First, must be in there. Ah, he we took care to of it. Through. There you go. <laughs> he took care of it. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I need to upgrade the uh, heavy lifting power or something like that, or the skill. Uh, I haven't upgraded that yet. There's a skill that you upgrade that makes you move a lot faster when you're carrying weapons like this. I still haven't upgraded it because I barely get these weapons. You know, these enemies, they're not, at it's least where I'm at, so far, there's like just a couple heavy guys here and there, not too much. So I've been investing the points more on, like I said, the melee attacks and some of the other stealth attacks. I've been unlocking all that. But other than that, guys, I just want to share this video with you guys, um, you know, just to have a horizon zero dawn video on my channel um i will try to upload another video i'm gonna try to use the elgato yeah, for some reason me. i'm having problems I recording I I um, video games you. on the elgato with the me? playstation 4 pro I, I know all I'm the games every time i do no, some recording baby. it comes out too freaking dark i, got a message uh, I from don't know why it's happening you i don't know me. why because i keep turning off the I hdr and other that. stuff just to make it clear uh, for some reason you know i've been trying a couple times and a couple times after playing for a half an hour 40 hours of recording when i see the recording it's freaking dark so this is one of the reason also that i'm using this uh video captured by the playstation 4 itself which came out pretty damn clear compared to the Elgato. so if anybody has a tip for me how to fix that problem that i'm having dark no videos using game capture cards please let me know I, I will um i promise you damn well better and it's only happening here on the playstation 4 pro on the playstation 4 normal never had that problem at all no no and on the please. nintendo switch i already did a couple recordings and on the xbox one no problem whatsoever it's just on the playstation 4 pro i promise but guys, let me know what you guys think about this game so far. Let me know what you think about this gameplay into the Borderlands, which pretty nice mission. That's why I decided to I'm record so it and and upload it and share with you guys. Um, spoilers but here, but you know, there's a lot more to spoil. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna see here. <laughs> so thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know what you think about this game so far. Till next time.